and the webinar is being recorded now and we will be sending this around to everyone who's attended so you'll be able to re-watch that um, if you've got any questions you can save them to the end and we can go over them um, at the end so thank you and guys just so i want to make sure that our our sound is all good can you just put a little yes in chat that that uh you can hear luke okay you can hear me okay uh, as well it'll also mean that the uh the web chat that has been going off so far <laughs> this morning luke is uh, is working well and you're recording on your end, I saw. That's fine. Uh, yep. We press yep, record. Perfect. Uh, yep, I can do it. Uh, it is recorded. Uh, you've, you've, you've recorded on your end. Yep, you yep. started it. Perfect. Yep. I yep. wonder if the guys uh, have got a uh, chat has been blocked in some particular way. Let me just do a quick check on this. Because I know there are some chatty people out there. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. There's questions coming through. Can hear you okay. Video is choppy. Attendees chat is chat. can chat with no one. How about yeah. attendees can chat with everyone? Let's change yeah, the there chat. There we go. All right. Let's see. Us. Let's see if <laughs> chat is going to work for you guys now. There we go. We're on now. All right. Yeah. Sound is good. Form. Perfect. We're, we're, yep. we're in. We're in. Hey, that's a great way if you don't want any uh, any feedback. <laughs> well, there is still the question option. So questions are coming through and answers. Yeah. Um, so yeah. your chat was disabled for a reason. There we go. All right, All right. Well, we can get uh, cool. Hey, uh, Dave said the, the video is a bit choppy. Is it good for you, for most of you? Video is good, guys. Dave, it might just well, be your connection. Yeah, the recording will be fine as well, so you'll be able to watch that. People are saying, oh, good, so it could just yep. be Dave's connection. All right. <clears throat> so, Luke, should we get into it? Let's start. I'm excited. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. And, uh, Luke, I know the work that you and the Realty Ads team have, that have been doing for really the last 12 months in building a piece of tech that, uh, that is going to help great agents and, and locked-on clients really leverage your CRM in a super effective way by you know, being able to press a button or two and suddenly get a, a great search and social outcome that's, uh, that's occurring. And, Luke, that's not always easy to do. So I know... <laughs> You've done the hard work from a tech point of view to make it easy for your your clients to be able to bring that into play. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Michael mm -hmm. Sheargold, a couple of decades working in this wonderful profession called real estate, working with great agents, great leaders and helping them uh, unlock a, a new level of performance. And to me, that's really what today is all about. How do we get those two things working well? Um, leverage for me, guys, is... A, uh, a little bit of effort, we get a, a big return. So the smart operators in the business, be, the, be they leaders or be they agents, are looking out of how do I spend, and you're going to spend about two and a half thousand hours in the next 12 months in this wonderful business called real estate, two and a half thousand hours. It's, <laughs> a, it's a lot of hours. <laughs> so how can you get um, more leverage in those hours? So a better return on investment. So if you're going to put those two and a half thousand hours in, you might as well get a great return on investment. And Luke, I know the work you've done uh, with, with Locked On as a platform and then integrating Realty Ads to it. Uh, there's a lot of work that's been going on behind the scenes. Was, is that a fair comment? Yeah, definitely fair. You know, in technology world, if it's easy, it's taken a lot of time to make it easy. <laughs> and so we've, we've done our best to make it as seamless as possible. But yeah, there's been a lot of a lot of work with your team, um, you know, with your great technology, and we've implemented that into our system. And we're really, really excited about the outcome to show everyone. Yeah. So we're going to do a couple of things today. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of uh, uh, slides, run through a couple of those to frame yep. it up. Then Luke, you're going to do a, 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 a physical demo with a live, demo. A, a yep. live yep. demo, so to see it. And also we're going to have a look at some reporting that comes out of the back end of it. So if you've got questions, really that, that, feel free to actually uh, go through it. And that reporting is both for you internally and also you can share with your clients. So it's a great piece of intel. And of course, Luke, we're not only talking about launching a campaign in terms of a listing but we've also got some great tech from a sold campaign and how that once you sell a property you know obviously it's gone unconditional bang you get that message out to your marketplace yeah. rapidly to start to see it 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 build that great momentum and i'm seeing every listing right now as a brand building exercise yeah 100 percent most agents don't see it that way but as soon as you shift it and go hey this is a brand building exercise all right how do i build my brand with this and the thing I'm saying to my clients at the moment, how do you make one listing look like two or three? So mm. you get this extra momentum. The other thing is, I think 
in the last couple of years, Luke, we've been very reliant on the, the active buyer being the one who is going to secure the property because there were so many active buyers. Given we're seeing less buyers in the market right now, we want to not only activate the active buyers, but we also want to have the passive buyers coming into play. So this is where this, uh, this tech, this relationship starts to really pay dividends to, to bring those, those passive buyers in. And by the way, if you're listening to this as to how do you position this with your clients from a listing point of view, that's exactly how to do it. We want to activate both the active buyers and the passive buyers because a passive buyer, you know, one of the passive tools that they're typically seeing, uh, number one, a signboard, because they're walking along the street with their dogs, they see a signboard up. Um, they might see a flyer. They might see a dust listed kind of um, um, flyer in their letterbox or they're seeing it on social. They weren't planning to, but they've bang seen it on social and say, oh, that looks interesting. And they move from a passive buyer to an active buyer on that particular property. So pretty important that we that we can activate those and have all of those playing well with us. Um, yeah, so I'll bring up a couple of PowerPoints, have a look at this, and then we'll hand over Luke to you. Yep. And I'm just going to make sure we've got the right slide. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Technology is a beautiful thing. Okay. Here we go. Great. So I think as most of you know, uh, is that coming through okay, Luke? Perfectly, yep. Yep. So I think most of you know, this is a locked on realty ads coming together and it's about connecting you and consumers on both social and search in a super efficient way. So we, the whole concept of this is, is look, we used to go online. Now we sort of live online. And this is, mm. this is not unusual to see if you're actually at a, uh, uh, a, a coffee shop, if you're somewhere where you'll see people in this mode. In fact, a lot of the time I sort of get a little bit disappointed because There'll be three people having a uh, uh, a lunch, and there are the three of them are on their separate phones checking out things. <laughs> That's and very common. Things. Um, so, how this uh, uh, this relationship actually works, and this partnership, it's really about how to support your lead gen. Uh, can we automate marketing both from a just listed, from an opens, and also from a sold? Um, there's no need for a graphic design team with this because the ads are built instantly along those lines. Uh, and you say it's about 30 minutes per uh, per listing in terms of what the work that goes in in oh, getting into, into social. Yeah. Um, uh, they're all branded. So it builds the, the brand rapidly. Uh, design to reduce days on market. Absolutely build market share, but also build your brand awareness in the marketplace. Um, it's super effective in terms of, of the, the lead processing and follow-up because they're going to land directly back into to locked on in terms of, of leads. And of course, for the guys that are utilizing the, uh, the locked on uh, driven sites, this also means that you've got that URL being able to be loaded in behind these ads and it can pop with that. Uh, great transparency direct um, from locked on. And of course you get some great benchmarking to see how things are, are progressing. So that's the, the, I guess the, the, the value stack is the reason why to do it. Look, if we have a look at, at the, um, how it flows, it's pretty simple. So um, the guys are utilizing, obviously, locked on from a, uh, a CRM point of view and uploading listings. And so within this, and, and we're going to go and have a look at this in just a moment, uh, it, it lands on to, to Realty in terms of Realty ads. And that activates a 17 second distribution to um, uh, GeoMap Facebook pages, uh, Insta, and also some great search capabilities uh, around this. So the whole idea is to, is to build exposure and from one button, create that distribution to a whole range of different solutions. And then of course, as we said, there's campaign reporting and benchmark reporting just to get a sense of, of how that's all operating. And I think it's important that we, we're talking about all of these. I'm in technology uh, you know, world for the last 15, 20 years, and, and I still find this very, very complex to do outside of a tool like this. There is no way that I could get a property ad myself and even think about getting it to work on Google, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Realty Online searches. Like that is a very complex beast um, that we have now, as you said, made super, super simple. 
Um, and that's why we're really excited about it. But that is a very, very complex thing that Realty Ad have managed to do. And now it's synced into Locked On. Um, it's one click. Yeah. So, Luke, should we uh, jump and have a look at it on uh, yeah. online, yeah, like I'll, a real life demo? Yeah, I'll reclaim the host this. and we'll show it now. So, guys, this is the part that we've been really excited to sort of show you for all the Locked On users that are here. Um, we're going to go into my Locked On CRM now. And a lot of you have seen this throughout the demos and the webinars that we do. And if we're going into your Locked On account, we're going to go into my listings and we're going to be using the 8 Skinners Avenue as my listing. So you will have your listing set up with your vendors, your details, and you will have the marketing. So this is the what we call the nucleus. Um, this is where all your information lives and we are sending it out to all the portals. And in the marketing section where you're adding your heading and your text, you'll now see a create and launch ads option with Realty Ad Technology. Now, you'll also need to have your images added and this will give you the ability to upload images into Locked On and reorder them. We're going to use the main image as the default. Once you are satisfied that you have your property marketing all set up and the property status is listed and you hit create and launch ads, we are now API driven with Realty who is generating the ad based on the information you have in our system through realty.com.au ads. It will then generate a preview and you'll be able to see that this is driven by Realty. It is my picture, my property, my logo, the text of the property, and I'm able to change these main image by selecting. Now, this is where you can jump in, Michael, and explain sort of the radius and how this all works. But from a locked on point of view, we're looking at a for sale ad that's generated instantly that will be positioned out on all of the different socials that you require. And to get this live, we can see down the bottom here that it's using our URL that we have on the property. And all ads, when they click the learn more, will be driven to your property website. So if I open that in a new tab here, this is a locked on specific site or a locked on landing page that you'd have in your plus locked on plus system. And this is coming from a live website that we've built for this particular office. So all of the realty ads that are going out onto the social platforms, when they click learn more, will be landing here. Now there's many different options around this. You can specify the page in locked on where that will be driven to, where I put the URL here. If you're using our websites or you're using Plus, it will use the specific landing page for the site. But again, it can be controlled by you for that ad to go wherever you would like that to by setting the home page and having the learn more button go there. So all leads are captured and then sent back into your locked on system as an inquiry and you can handle those. Now, if you're actually live with Realty as well, it will go to a Realty ad and a Realty ad URL. So there's many different ways that you can pick the learn more button to go. Um, Michael will explain sort of around the, the realty pages as well. But from a lockdown perspective, you've got to have your page set, your marketing done. And once you have that all set up, it's one click and you can see how quick and seamless this is. So now the ads generated, I'll get you to talk about, you know, the concept around the radius and the settings that you've got and booking your first ad. Yeah. And Luke, you might notice I've gone to glasses right now. So I've got that, <laughs> that, that attention to detail that can come through. So I think a couple of things, uh, firstly, is this is, it has built an ad. And, and Luke, how often are, uh, are you in a suit? You're looking very impressive, by the way, in that suit, in that, uh, uh, in that, in that pic. That's uh, very um, old. <laughs> uh, what, what this does, basically, it's going to drop your agency brand uh, and your agent, agent pic onto this particular ad, but it's not, it's not uh, over uh, compensating for, for the image. So your clients are going to see this and go, okay, that's, that's seriously valuable. But at the same time, it's going to build your brand. Um, it's grabbed, obviously, the, the copy from that. And that's about a 10 second build from Luke, when you pressed, when you pressed, okay, go, go to Realty Ads to, to build this. Now, you know, you can choose the, the, the spend on, on, on a per campaign basis, but what we, what we do, and this one's uh, set at, at, uh, at $50, but you might do a, um, a, a 150 or 200 or 250, depending on, on who, what audience you're actually going to. And there's a couple of things about Realty. Um, Realty has built uh, a thousand geomapped social pages of an audience that is sitting around it's, it's nudging towards half a million uh, um, people on those various pages that have got a, 
are leaning towards property. So when it lands on Facebook, not only uh, does Realty with some great AI work out what is the audience that this property is most going to go to, it also goes to those pages. But the other thing that's really neat about this too, Luke, uh, it can be set to go to the agent's social page yeah. and also to the agency page. So this yeah. is all happening automatically as opposed to individual posts that, that are occurring. Yeah, uh, and that's a really important thing to touch on. Um, we're actually you know, going to the API for Realty Ads here to build an ad without you having a Realty account. And this will promote it through to the socials as an ad through the Realty pages and the Realty site. And it will then launch it geographically, you know, targeting Facebook around the area that you're picking, which we can see below here. If you go through and sign up an account with Realty, you're going to get more benefits, which Michael is explaining there. So we're actually using their technology in a way where you don't have to be a Realty client, but to get the full experience, it's best to be a Realty client and take advantage of all of those. And that's a free setup. And if you are a Realty client, then the experience of your social ad is going to be another level up to using just the standard create ad that we're looking at now. So we've looked at, at this is the uh, a new listing so uh, yep. that's come to market. Uh, Luke, can we go back and just do a, a, what a sold, how a sold looks as well? Yeah, definitely. So in Locked On, there's the status of listed. Um, so this is promoting it at the start. And Michael and I were talking about this. This is the new letterbox drop. You know, when you get a listing, you'd be out there. You're still doing those things, but you're promoting the listing. You want to get it out to your area. You're doing a geo radius search around that. And this is, a, 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 I guess, a social letterbox drop for the listing to promote it. When you've sold it, this is where it's, I think, really, really beneficial for an agent. You, you obviously want to promote the listing and that's about the property. And this one is about you and your brand. So when the property becomes exchanged and we run the ad again, you'll notice that we're creating an ad on Realty. And when we look at the preview, we're now looking at the sold option. And the ad's very much the same uh, that we'll preview, but we all have the sold banner on it. Okay, not too much in their face. But again, we want everyone to know in our core area, in the radius that we've set, that we have just sold the property. Now, now, Luke, the, the important part is, guys, you can do all this if you want to spend serious uh, hours putting all of this together and getting it through to the social and the search and so on. Uh, but yeah, um, as, as Charles is just saying, this is an online letterbox drop. And the, the, the good news is because of the great geo mapping capability, you know, here it is on the, on the, the, the phone, I'm flicking through and it's going to come up on your socials. Uh, remember yeah. we, we said right up front, how do you make one listing like look like two or three? This is one of the super simple ways of, of doing it. And of course you can, can see this as uh, a, a key, key upgrade in terms of making sure that you promote. Now, the reality of this in actual fact is you could simply do a um, uh, not use realty for uh, and, and realty ads for the the listing just listed doesn't make a lot of sense um, but you but you could do that and you could do just do the 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 sold the best the best practice guys is to do the 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 just listed the the new to market kind of uh, focus which means you're getting not only those active but those passive buyers and getting some brand building capability in there and you complete it in terms of, um, you know, sort of close the, the gap and saying, okay, we've uh, we've sold it. Um, yeah. And I'm just flicking around whilst you're talking, but people will see me playing that we can extend the radius, we can shorten it, you know, whatever area you may work surrounding suburbs. But this is where we're basically setting up the ad specifics. So you can put in here the target audience around the property. You can add other locations to target. And then we can have the agenda age audience, and once you've selected all your specifics, the run campaign button will be at the bottom. And if you just go uh, slightly back up uh, to it, um, yep. once into credit the ad information. Uh, yep. If you go here, do you see the little custom button? Uh, yeah, just you're, you're very close to it. That custom that, audience. What, yep. this, what this does mean, guys, is, is you can let Realty take care of it. Or if you've got someone in your marketing team and you can say, okay, what we want to do is a more concentrated effort in a 5K radius from where that sale is, then you can pop that in there. And obviously it's going to give you greater exposure over a shorter uh, location, which by the way, 
for most of your listings, that's probably what you want, a, a more intense kind of, uh, of soul coming through around it. Um, but I think, look, if we can just go back through uh, and, and go from the beginning, one of the questions coming up is, does this work from a, uh, a, leased, a, a leasing side of it as well? Um, I, at the ad creation, so in locked on as well, you'll still have the ability to create the ads from the rentals. So that we'll be able to. We just have to check with Realty that it's going to say instead of for sale for lease. Um, so it's if it's not there now, you definitely can test it. You'll see the ad create. If that's not right, let us know. Um, that's a very very quick update that we can work with the guys. But we've really been testing and focusing on the residential sales side of it so far. Um, we definitely phase two could extend that out, but I'd be surprised if it's not working because that may be something that Realty have already built in with their technology. So it's yeah. there for you to test for sure for rentals as well. Yeah. So we might just take it from the top, uh, Luke, just to go through that process once again. Yeah. Because uh, because you do it super fast and, and clearly yeah. you've been working on this for, uh, for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'll slow it down one more time for everyone. So in Locked On, you have all of your listings. Um, I've changed my listing to exchange for the one that we're using for the test. So we will see that this is um, in here. Should I put it as settled? Sorry. We'll use the search for eight Skinners. And we can see the property here and the property is exchanged. And I'm going to change that back to listing. So when you first get a listing and you have your marketing set up, you have your images entered, you are able to go into the details area you can specify the URL you want the ad to land on in the home page. If you have a locked on website and you're on locked on plus, it will use your website that is created for the property micro site of the default. So you won't have to worry about that setting, but you'll then be able to hit create and launch ads. As soon as you click this, it's pulling the information into Realty to build your social ad. Now you can select and change the photo which is the main control you have. Remember a lot of the other data such as headlines, bed and bath is being pulled from locked on and you can adjust the radius, change the gender and the audience age gap. And when you're ready, click the run campaign option where you'll be asked for billing information. You will be able to adjust the budget. Okay, so you can see here, you've got the 50 is set and it will run for five days. Obviously, adjusting the amount of days it runs and the budget will affect the ad and how it's how it's all working. But once you have put in your billing details, you will be charged and your campaign will be live. And at that stage, Realty starts to give you reports and confirmation on this. And this is the final part of our webinar today that Michael's going to be looking at the reports you get from Realty. But as a final note on the ad creation, guys, whatever page you use as the landing page, so this one is going to a particular micro site or a property site where you have built for lands real estate for this particular ad. The form on that page, when people inquire, will then be feeding back into Locked On if you have that connected, okay? So you could be sending it this particular built website by Locked On, will come straight into our system, we'll have inquiries captioned and auto replies on it. If you're using the full Realty integration, it will use the Realty ad page and the Realty ad sent back into Locked On. Okay, so it's specified by you, but if you're using our plus and our sites, it's very, very seamless. Okay, so once the ad's booked, it's running, ads are coming back in and reporting is all handled by Realty. And we're now gonna look at those reports um, as a final piece of today's webinar. So you can see how you actually get information, how, how that ad is performing. Great, and look, just leave that up for the moment. I'll just go right yep. through the questions that have come through. So uh, how do you make the radius uh, smaller than the 17 Ks? So, uh, yeah. so at the moment, that is a default as 17 Ks is the smallest. It's an easy change for us to look at when you start to use the custom option. Uh, but as a default, it's 17 Ks as the smallest radius. And that's what Realty have sort of specified for the listings one is the good sort of radius to use. Um, but we will speak to them about trying to get that to go lower. Yeah. Uh, will this work for, for lease listings uh, to assist in rent roll growth? The answer is yes, it, it will along those lines. Um, so can we target specific areas? I know a lot uh, of agents want their suburbs saturated with their own profiles. So Charles, the answer is, is yes, that capability. Uh, if it's not there yet, that's something that will will further build uh, into this in Definitely. terms of some flexibility. Um, yeah. 
what we wanted to do is get this out to you. And, and what I love about this, Luke, this isn't coming. This is live. So, you know, yeah. someone who sold a property a day ago can jump onto this and bang, uh, immediately get into Indigo mode with it. Uh, can you change the uh, the people who match? Yeah, so they're asking there on a buy and match option. Um, that's a really good question because they're saying, can we set the audience to be a custom audience from locked on? So if we had 500 matching buyers, could we you know, find them on Facebook and target them via the email? That is definitely a phase two part of this um, that we, work, we want to work with Realty on is using your CRM data to target the ads to. Um, it's not here yet. So far, we're doing the radius searches and promoting it you know, on, on that radius around the listing. But that is definitely a phase two. And that'll probably be something we look at um, next year for you guys using the actual data you have in your CRM to build a custom audience around that. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, which is just that next level uh, yeah. of this. Uh, Andrew uh, has asked, uh, uh, amazing what social platforms does it push to? So uh, Facebook, GeoMapped, and also uh, the audience targeting, uh, LinkedIn, uh, excuse me, yeah, uh, more so Instagram, uh, TikTok, and then also to a range of socials as well. So, um, Andrew, we can get you more details on, on what that looks like specifically. So you've got a, a page or two from a listing kit point of view that you can go out and say, hey, this is the next, the next piece of activation that, that we've been able to, to integrate and put in, into play. By the way, this, and, and very important point, uh, Locked On is the very first platform uh, in the Australian marketplace that has this technology built in. So, Luke, this is a, a, a huge kudos to, to you and the energy and effort you put in to make this so easy and seamless to no, make it happen. No, yeah, we're really excited about it. As I said right at the start, it's just, you know, one click of a button, pick your radius, pick your photo, put your billing in, and someone did ask, where's the billing going through Locked On or Realty? It's a Realty um, pay ad that you're doing. Um, so it's going through them and the risk receipts and everything will go out straight away from Realty and all the reporting will come from Realty. We're giving you the power to use their technology inside of Locked On. And it's just a great partnership. You know, one click of a button, put your payment in, you pay per ad. If you are set up on a Realty account, guys, that's where it will be different. So you can create a free Realty account. You can set up different um, payment terms, um, different ad settings. So there's a full experience with the Realty full system but we're giving you access to get an ad on social very, very fast through Locked On without having that. But ideally, the best the best option for you all would be get a free Realty account and utilise all their tools. So, so Gian's got to ask the question, what's the least amount you can uh, spend for property ad? Uh, Gian, I think it's it's uh, it's 50, but we can test that out. You want to make sure you get, you get some bang for the buck and get some mm. momentum. Um, but, you know, most of this is going to be vendor funded. So you want to make sure you you add this to your to your marketing campaign. So it's sort of this next level of extra support that we're not waiting for a, a portal to deliver a, a lead. We're going out to these social audiences and importantly, the search audiences as well uh, that, that can start to tap into to another new audience. Uh, can you add extra text uh, to the sole fly with information such as the number of buyers through uh, no, the number of contacts? The ads themselves aren't customizable yet. They're pre-defined um, based on what Realty knows works best. Um, so that, that will probably be something, again, we look at in the future, adding more text and taking parts of Locked On and building them for you. Uh, but so far, it's, it's all preset templates. Um, and also yep. people are asking how they get a Realty account. You can pretty much just go to realty.com.au. Is that correct, Michael? And use the you know, contact us or join. Yes. Very, yeah, very simple a, process. A, a join and you can uh, select that. And that's obviously built into to Locked On as well that you can literally launch from there. By the way, I've got Locked On LinkedIn in my mind at the moment. <laughs> um, uh, by the way, when I mentioned LinkedIn before. <laughs> no, um, you're fine. You're fine. It's a common one. Process. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so if you want the full experience um, with Realty, just visit their site and sign up. If you want to just get social ads happening instantly, you can go to it now and use yeah. it in Locked On. Um, Troy from Realty is in the chat, guys, and he's sending through some really good information. Um, so is Kevin. He's put the page there as well. Um, feel free to use those links that they're putting up there and look out for Troy and Kevin in the chats to answer, to answer some of those questions in details. But I think, Michael, we might jump into the reporting now to yep. show what's yep. actually happening once a campaign is live. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. I think we've, we've uh, gone through most of the questions. 
But what might be neat is is uh, we might summarize those questions and come back to uh, everyone with just a little little uh, uh, frequently asked questions that the guys are asking around it. Yeah, there was three just questions there from someone in NZ, which was good, Ray and Carlene. I'll just finish these off. It will work in NZ. So basically, as long as the property has your longitude and latitude, we can create the ad and it will work for everyone, Australia and New Zealand. Um, can you determine the branding and colours on the sold sticker? If you have a full realty account, this is where you get more flexibility around it. So when you set up with realty and you define your branding, colours, et cetera, you'll then be able to have more specific ads created for you. So using your colors and your theme. So that's the benefit of signing up with them. And Troy's put that link in there. Um, and it's saying, Amy, you're saying you can only do it with paid ads. If you're posting a property as an unpaid post or social media, can it be done this way? You can do free ads with realty, okay? But you're not getting the boost what this is doing. So it's not, there's no sort of advertisement going out there and promoting it on a, on a paid ad level but you can upload to Realty for free, okay? Yeah, so it's all about reach when we start exactly. to look at socials. So how many, how many, um, uh, what level of reach do we have? How many impressions can we get? How many views can we get? And then how many engagements can we get? And we're going to talk about that from a uh, reporting point of view. And Luke, yeah. I think you need to uh, yeah. uh, uh, hand, hand back to me if, if you wouldn't yeah. mind. Doing that right now. So I will make host and there you go. And thank you very kindly. So, so what, what we've looked at so far is um, uh, why do it, uh, how to do it, the simplicity of, of doing it. it. Importantly, guys, I think, you know, one of the, the keys you want to have is the ability to report to, to owners as to what's occurring, what's happening. And one of the things that I love about Realty is uh, the, the openness of, of, of what's in that reporting process. That's really to, good, really good statistic. To help the clients. So let me just bring these up, guys. And we're going to look at two different reports. Uh, this first one is the property reports. So this is the one you typically give to a client. Glasses back on for this as well. <laughs> um, so you've got the, the property details. You've got the report highlights. So this is how much uh, the, the total reach. The budget in this case was 250. Uh, the page views, the engagement, and the number of prospects that it actually generated. So, and then interesting enough, it shows uh, who looked at this on mobile, who looked at it on tablet and who looked at it on desktop. This yeah. is extraordinary, isn't it, Luke? Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, it, I think everyone understands how powerful mobile is, um, you know, and the percentage of that is, <laughs> has been like that for a long time. So yeah. you do yeah. understand how, how everyone's on their phone all the time. You just, you can't, you can't yeah. not be on mobile. I think this is a really important point though. A lot of the time we look at a website and say, how does it look on, how does it look on a desktop? Well, guess what? We've got to, by default, make sure that that is this looking magnificent on a uh, on a mobile because the vast majority are going to view it that way. Yeah. Um, this then shows an activity uh, track in terms of the the page views and the the search views. That's really important in terms of those search views as to to how that's being activated through here. Um, the the budget, uh, how much branding, how many engagements that occurred, and the number of prospects that came through. Um, and how does that work? And how did they they come through? The number of calls, the number of reveals. So in Realty, you know, you literally can click. It will show did someone actually reveal the phone number? So the phone mm. number is not there. So so it's a, a great way of seeing what's actually occurred. And of course, with Locked On, those emails end up directly back into into Locked On yeah. to be able to to see it through there. Yeah. Um, uh, this report probably was a, a first thing to start off with. Might be is that this is a full Realty page report. Um, so if you are a realty client, this is the detailed report you get on the page where the ads are going to link to. Um, so again, it's not using, if you're using another site, such as a locked on site or going out to your site, this sort of reporting here, um, it's going to be from the ad going into your page. So the benefit of being a full realty client is this as well. You're looking at this first report. Yeah. Yeah. And then of course it shows you what, what was activated from a, a media point of view, you know, the floor plan views, the image views and uh, and so on, and then what's happened from an engagement side of it. So uh, a cool report to be able to to give to your clients. And this, to me, uh, you know, one of the words I use with our, our clients a lot, Luke, is the word intel. So mm. this provides them intel, and they go far out. This is impressive. Now, of yeah. course, it's branded, you guys, so it, it means you can take this to to the marketplace in an effective way. 
And you can utilize this obviously for a client that is thinking about um, going with you and saying, hey, here are the benefits of, of this. If we look at this insights report, once again, it's a, a, a branded report. It talks about uh, the, the property, how many did we reach, uh, views, engagements, and inquiries that, that have been generated. And I think one of the key things with this, Luke, is a lot of people view the success of a campaign based on inquiries. Mm. A big part for me is how many did we reach, how many people viewed it, and how many mm. engagements were there. Well, that's because it's branding. It, branding. It's branding. You know, How do we see this property as a brand building opportunity in the marketplace? And then, of course, we go down here. You can download this as a PDF, so you can have it on an, an iPad or something or, or send this through to, to a client. It looks at where it was ranked. It looks at the inquiry rate, uh, what's happened in terms of average days on market, and how many people have actually uh, clicked the floor plan, which is a key indicator that they're, they're truly interested in the property. Um, down below here, where the inquiries actually came from in, in terms of, of locations, and then it also goes through what images. So this is amazing intel to say, all oh, right, okay, what image uh, works more effectively and what's the reaction from those particular images that come through. And then from a video, it says how many total views. Um, and then it shows, well, 10 watched more than 50% and uh, 16 watched 100% of the video. Mm. So it's a great way of starting to see this, this build through and build out. And then, of course, it's got the comparables um down below there as well uh so guys this is something that that i know between luke and the and the realty ads team we're going to be continually looking to how to build this uh this value proposition for you to make it mm. easier and even more effective to to bring things into play yeah for a phase two for us with realty just so everyone's kind of aware is that like the statistics and the stats around your ad and how it's actually progressing and you know the number of views and interactions and um, impressions on that ad we, we will eventually be getting that data back into locked on and we'll be able to show that on the screen if you've got an active realty ad running and show you the campaign and how it's performing uh, so obviously we just want to get it out there we want to get you using it we know how powerful it is but you will then start to collect data back into the system and that's probably going to be a next year um, thing but with that's already in chat so that's probably our next initial phase two of it is getting the data back into the ui of our system yeah yeah fantastic uh by the way charles i think we might have uh uh one of the team from realty to give you a call because your questions are really really good mm -hmm. and uh they they might be above my pay grade in terms <laughs> of answering some of those technical capabilities uh, uh, uh around that just so you know that that i know so look in, in wrapping this up uh, I think, Luke, we've done a, a, a great job of talking about why this is in place, how, how in that two and a half thousand hours that an agent's going to put into their business in the next 12 months, how can we help great agents get even more leverage through the locked on platform integrated through Realty Ads, uh, how the tech works, um, you know, it builds it in under 10 seconds. And of course, once you post it within 17 seconds, it lands on those particular platforms. Right. Yeah, uh, which both from a social and search point, point of view gives even greater bang for the buck. And of course, after the property sold, to go back to the property and say, hey, we want to activate a sold campaign uh, into a region that allows us to build even greater momentum. Yeah, and um, I personally don't think there's anything as fast, as cost effective to build brand awareness as a social posting in your local area. Like you couldn't print a DL flyer this fast. You couldn't letterbox drop it to a street. You know, putting something on real estate or domain is not the same as building profile in your core area. Um, it is a very different concept. It also has the benefits of getting inquiries and getting people interested, but it is really, really effective and powerful and fast brand awareness. And Absolutely. I think that's the part that is really, really exciting about Realty. And we do a lot about in Locked On, like effective just sold and just listed marketing using your database. But this is, you know, another great way to connect with those people in a more of a, a bit of a colder environment out in the social world, but it's still visually seeing it every day, seeing your brand, seeing you're doing things, you're performing, you're getting listings. Like that is, that is key. And that's where Realty really stands apart from other portals and what they offer. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, my last slide before we uh, we wrap is this one here, Luke, which sort of like brings it into play how it's been designed 
to to simplify the the, the process. So what do you yeah. do is that you uh, list and load onto locked on. And they're doing that every day. Like there's no difference there. So you have to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the next step in the process is, is obviously choosing what uh, level of campaign that you want for a, uh, a listed property, for a leasing property, and then obviously leased and sold to be able to make it happen. So yeah. um, the, 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 the work that Locked On and Realty then do is, is create the, the fully branded ads uh, in less than 10 seconds and then target the the best and the biggest audiences for those particular ads uh, post to the web post to social and, and importantly post to search uh, and then also post to your office and your agent social media so you can select that and and, and realty uh, will manage that for you yeah and then of course it generates and sends the the uh, property and the boost reports so you can get to see how that's actually working and communicate back to your your clients um, it executes campaigns automatically um, uh, and, and you get to see what that design looks like, change an image that if you want to choose a different image for a particular soul or a particular listing, uh, you get to, to measure the results live. And of course, you get this benchmarking coming back to you to help you measure the impact of your campaigns. Yeah. And I just want to be clear on sort of the, the first, there's two levels to this really, guys, as, as we wrap up here. There is, if you're not a realty client, we are now giving you the ability to create social ads for your property using the realty technology. And that is going to hit a radius around your property, whether it be a just listed or a just sold alert. And we think of that as brand profile awareness using realty technology. The second level to it is the full experience. You are a realty client. You've signed up with them. You have fully branded marketing. We're linking it to your own Facebook, social pages. It's a full on experience with the realty team. And they have different packages as well around that and different ad spends. But that is the full experience. First is we now have a quick, fast way for anyone to effectively advertise on social using really real realties technology, which is really exciting. But I would highly suggest it's a free account, speak to realty, sign up, get the full experience because they can link it to your Facebook page. They can link it to your socials. And that's where you'll get a lot, a lot of power in the brand awareness. Yeah, yeah. So Luke, uh, it's been great sharing this uh, this with you, and and talking through the the opportunity that's now in front of your your amazing clients yeah. about helping them maximise twenty twenty three. And this would be something that that guys, I'd really be looking at. At can you do some quick activation? The tech is working there right now yeah. on some sole properties and get some some great momentum going. Uh, yeah. and some some noise around that right now as well as anything that you're launching either this side of christmas or certainly in the new year to be able to really capitalize on and build that momentum yep excellent guys get in there use it give us your feedback you can be the first people on it we're the first crm with realty we appreciate all your feedback um, as you start getting ads live but really exciting go in there do one today let's get your brand out there around your geographical area and start to see the results and Luke, Kevin Turner have, and Troy have, have mentioned in chat that they're going to look through the chat and answer any specific questions that we haven't been able to get to in terms of, of today. Yeah. So that'll make sure that we can can help bring it into play. Um, uh, guys, can we give uh, uh, Luke a, a huge thumbs up or a, uh, thank a, a thank you or something along those lines? Um, I, I did the easy bit in terms of jumping onto a, a webinar. You've done the hard bit, Luke, in terms of making that integration happen behind the scenes. So, oh, I have developers too. So yeah, <laughs> we're yeah. both kind of the front men, but there was a lot of heavy, heavy lifting on both parts. So we really should both thank our tech teams. They've made it yeah. seamless. We oversee it all. We make sure it's correct for agents. Um, but we're both of us are just extremely proud to get this out to you all. Yeah, you, you're getting rounds of applause, uh, Luke. You're getting you're getting uh, more than just one thumbs up. You're getting three thumbs up, and uh, and thank you, and uh, uh, awesome, and and how that actually builds. Um, yeah, uh, Charles, I agree. It's time and money uh, given back to agents to be able to oh, have an even greater even greater impact. It's just uh, such a complex world made simple now. As it's the best way I think of it. It's socially so complex, yeah. um, and the big companies spend a lot of money on it. But now we've just made it easy for agents to get something out and build yeah. brand awareness and profile. So we're, uh, uh, what, 24 days before Santa gets ready to come down the chimney. So, <laughs> uh, guys, my final comment is 
now is the time for you to have a strong finish to the year. So don't back off just yet. Just, just go for it. That last little bit, have that nice little push. And the thing I'm talking with all the clients about is how do you have a strong start? So how do you want your startup plan to look before you go on your break? So maybe it's the 20th of December, we're at your Christmas party, we're popping a bottle of champagne or some other beverage that you of your choosing. And you're saying, um, you know, here's how my startup plan looks. Uh, if I was you, I'd get clear on what that startup plan looks like. So when you come back in the new year, you're ready to rock and roll. You can just have amazing momentum and bring the, the locked on realty ads together to be able to help you advance that even more. Excellent. Well, thanks again for your time, Michael. Thanks to the team at Realty. Um, you know, we're truly excited to get this out as the first CRM. We just hope everyone can get in there and start using it now and see the results and give us your feedback, let us know, and we'll keep making it better. But we know you're going to get some great wins from it. Thanks, guys. All the best. Thanks for your time. See you later. Thanks, Luke.